Okay, in this video I want to show you how to calculate the variance using the shortcut variance formula that I... Really, the variance, or S squared, is equal to the, sum, oops, the, the summation of each value minus the mean, right? Divided by N minus 1. Actually, you know what I'm going to do here? Now this is the population mean, so I'm going to take that out and use the sample mean instead because that's what we're normally dealing with, is with the sample mean. So let's go back to the pen here. So we know that the sample mean is x with a bar over it. And then we square this, right? Well, we square this difference. So this is called a sum of squared deviations. So it's the deviation of each value from the mean, right? And we divide by n minus 1 because we lose a degree of freedom. I'll talk about that at some other point, right? And then I gave you a shortcut formula, which you'll see as soon as you look at the lecture notes. And that shortcut formula, and I'll show you why it's a shortcut formula. It's x sub i, oops, x sub i squared minus, and here we have in parentheses, x sub i, and we square that, divide that by n, and we divide this whole thing by n minus 1. Okay, so that's your shortcut formula. Now, if we want to calculate the, the top formula here, we'd have to set up our data so that we can get these deviations. In reality, all of these are pretty easy, but it's just when you have data, it's easier to set things up like this. I'll give you an example why. So here's a set of data that I used for, we'll probably be using it again. I, I, pretending that I created a sports psychology program for skiers. I like skiing, as I think I mentioned to you all. And we're looking at the timing that each um, youth has to do as they're going down the giant slalom run. This is a run on a ski cor a ski slope that they have to pass through the different gates. You've, pro you've probably seen this before. Anyway, the X here is the variable, and the variable is the time of the run. So each person has an ID. We see there's 15 individuals, so we know immediately that n is equal to 15. So we know that we have the value x here, so it's a summation of x. So, and it's notice it's x sub i, so the i stands for the individual value. So x sub i 1, or x sub 1 for individual 1 would be 41.13, x sub 2 would be 40.44. So we know we need the x's because we're going to take the x's. We need to sum them. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using Excel because Excel makes everything very convenient. So if you um, highlight the cell that you want and you go up to the right-hand corner here, it says Auto Sum, and you'll notice it'll just automatically highlight all the area that needs to be summated, and you just hit Enter and you get the sum. Then what you could do from that point is you can drag your cursor from the corner and it'll summate the next level the next um, the next values, set of values too, and these are x squared, so this is actually x sub i squared here, okay, because we need both of those. We need the individual values and we need the sum, but really, we need the sum. That's what we're more interested in because that's what our shortcut formula is. So let me get back to our formula here. So we need the summation of x sub i squared. So here's the x sub i squared, and here's the sum. So let's start filling out some of these values here. Okay, hopefully I have enough room here. S squared equals, so the summation of x sub i squared is 26501.07, okay, and we have this, this ratio here. And from this, we're subtracting the summation of the xi squared. So here are the xi's. We summated them at 629.98. So 6, oops, 629.98. And we're divide, and we're, we're squaring that, right? Dividing by n, which is 15. And we're dividing this whole thing by 15 minus 1, which is 14. So that's what, see, see, this is so easy. That's what's considered a shortcut formula. So let's go to the next value, the next set of values here. All right, so we still have, we've got S squared, 
and, and this whole thing is divided by 14. And then now we need, we need, so now we need to square this value here, right? Because we have this summation we're going to square. I'll do that here in Excel too. What I'll do is I'll go up to my functions and I look for power, right? So I'm going to square this number, so that goes under number, and the power is 2 because squaring is just multiplying it by itself, and it'll give me the value here. So the next set of values I need, the next value I need is right here. So, so we have, go back up here and we subtract from it, three, nine, six, eight, seven, four, three, nine, oops, three, nine, six, eight, seven, four, point eight, and we divide that by 15, all right. Okay, so this equals, let's just look at that the second part here, and that's um, pull out our calculator, so this is 39, oops, 39, 39687.4.8, divided by 15, and that equals, let's move this over here. Two six two six two six four eight two six four five eight point three two. So let's write this whole thing down here. So we've got two six five zero one point zero seven minus two six four five eight point three two and all this is divided by fourteen. So let's go back to our calculator. Let's put a little negative sign in front of that, right? Because we're going to subtract it from this other value here. So we're going to add to it 26501.07. We get 42.75, right? So we get 42.75 divided by 14. So we're going to divide this by 14. Equals 3.054. 3.054. And if we take the, so that gives us the variance. We use a symbol S squared here. And if we just want the standard deviation, that's the square root of the variance, right? So in this case, it would equal the square root of this value. So we just take its square root and we get 1 1.747. 1 1.747, and that's it. So that's how we calculate the variance. So I just wanted to let you know how to do that. Thank you. Bye.